Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Brambleberry's quick lotion mix to make this amazing reishi mushroom aloe vera face lotion. So why reishi mushroom? So if you're anything like me, you have tried it in your coffee and you've seen it in basically every cool skincare product launch in the last year. That's because reishi mushroom is really high in antioxidants, which are fantastic for making sure that your skin looks as smooth and polished as possible, as well as helping to even out skin tone. In addition to that, it has beta glucans in it, which help to moisturize your skin and leave your skin feeling supple and soft and smooth. We also use aloe vera liquid as part of the water because that is also known to help with moisturizing and conditioning your skin. So the Brambleberry Quick Lotion Mix is designed specifically so that you can add as little or as much water as you want. What does that mean? Well, if this is just a little bit too thick for you, you can add more water to make this more thin. This particular mix uses rosehip oil and jojoba oil, which are fantastic on skin. Did you know that jojoba is actually a liquid wax? It's very close to the sebum, which is basically the mantle of the skin, in terms of its moisturizing abilities. And so it's fantastic for conditioning and protecting your skin. So for this project, we're using one of Brambleberry's natural fragrance oils. All essential oils and all natural products have a variety of chemical components in them. You can extract certain chemical components that smell like a part of the essential oil. So natural fragrance oils are built from individual chemical properties of all natural essential oils. They don't work well in cold processed soap at all because of the pH, but in skincare, they are fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm gonna clear off my area and I'm going to get my sterilized lotion making equipment in front of me. I always wanna make sure I'm using distilled water so there is no bacteria or viruses or heavy metals in it. And I've got this in my disinfected Pyrex container. And you can disinfect with bleach water or rubbing alcohol. So next, I'm just gonna heat this up to right about 160. I'm just gonna heat it up in the microwave, it's the easiest. Now that this is about 160, I'm gonna add my aloe directly to this. And I'm adding 3.2 ounces of the aloe vera liquid, just to give a little bit extra hydration and conditioning properties. The water phase, or phase A, is prepped, so now we get to work on our oil. So I'm gonna melt this down in the microwave. This is a fully meltable bag, so you leave the lid on, Toss it in the microwave for about one to two minutes. All right, we're fully melted, and now it's time to measure out 5.8 ounces of our oils and emulsifying wax. And the reason I'm measuring it into a separate container is just because I know that it's totally accurate. You can't ever take it out if you put it in there. And so I like to do an extra step and just measure it into a separate container. It does smell just a little bit odd. That is the BTMS 50, which is the Conditioning emulsifier. Emulsifier is a fancy word for means mixes the water and the oil together. Don't worry, that's not that kind of weird, odd smell. Not present in your final product. I do notice this did cool down just a little bit. And you know what? I want all of it in here, so I'm just gonna heat this up real quick. So, all of my lotion quick mix into here. Whee! Stick blender. And I'm just going to stick blend while I'm adding it. So now I'm just using my stick blender to make sure everything is fully mixed together and fully emulsified. The BTMS 50 is a really strong emulsifying agent, so I'm not too worried about this coming apart. But just to be on the safe side, make sure you're stick blending for 30 seconds to a whole minute to ensure that all the chemical bonds of the water and the oils and the emulsifying wax are together before adding in our extract, our preservative, and our fragrance. Okay, so my temp's 122 to 126 right now, which is perfect to add my extracts and to add my preservative. GeoGuard's a really stable preservative and you can actually use it in the pH range of two to seven, which is pretty good. And we're just gonna use 0.3 ounces of our preservative here, and it's a paraben-free, non-formaldehyde donor preservative. It's EcoCert, which means that it does uh, meet sustainability criteria. And best of yet, it's a broad-spectrum preservative that will help prevent mold and bacteria from growing in this water-based product. It's pretty important. I'm gonna be using my 
reishi mushroom extract at a full 5%, which is 1.6 ounces. And I'm just gonna do this by weight. And there is no smell here at all, which is really nice. And then finally, I'm gonna be using my natural fragrance. And since this is a product I'm making for my face, I'm not gonna be using all that much. I'm actually just gonna use probably right about three milliliters because I don't want it to overpower when it gets near my eyes or the sensitive mucous membranes. But I do want to just give this a really nice uh, herbaceous smell. And so the natural fragrance oil will do just that and still be pretty interesting and yummy smelling. Now I'm gonna take all of this and stick blend it right in. So I'm just gonna move my stick blender around in a circular fashion, making sure that I get all of that preservative and that fragrance and the mushroom extract in. And I'm gonna turn my stick blender back on. And this lotion will thicken more upon cooling, so I like to pour it while it's warm. Because of the thickness of this lotion, I do like to use jars for it. Again, you can always add more water to these lotion quick mixes to make a more thin uh, more uh, lotion for your face if you have a slightly oily skin or are you looking for a slightly lighter cream. So now we're gonna let this cool. And the reason for that is, is any condensation that um, ends up forming will form on the top of the lids and you don't want that extra water falling back into your lotion. So let these cool with the lids off before capping them. And then they're ready to use right away, give away or sell. And just a reminder, if you are selling this product, make sure you're following good manufacturing practices. So your hair, you know, having hair nets, making sure you're wearing gloves, all of that during the manufacturing process. We do have lots of articles at brambleberry.com on making lotions and how to make cosmetics. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, I can't wait to see what you make. Yes, we should definitely. All right, good. Yeah. I'll just go back farther. You want me to talk about the oils in here, the rose and hoba? Sure. Wait, I can do it again. Yeah, here we go. Started. Yeah. Whoa. Do you want me to mention it? Uh. Whoa! Because of the, th because of the thickness, because, <laughs> excuse me while I do that. I'll be right back. All right, bye, it's nice to see you.